Retail theft accounts for an estimated $86.6 billion in losses, and that's just for last year. But this year, it's costing some employees their jobs. Employers are urging their staffers to look the other way rather than be hurt or possibly even killed trying to stop thieves. It's a concept that goes against human nature for some people, but corporate America is not backing down. Outrage after this video went viral back in April. Thieves seen grabbing armfuls of Lululemon clothing and taking off from the Atlanta store. Get, get out! Two employees filming the masked robbers and chasing them out, both were fired for violating company policy. It's only merchandise. At the end, they're trained to step back, let the theft occur, know that there's technology and there's cameras and we're working with law enforcement. The upscale retailer has received backlash for that firing, but the CEO defends the actions. In this particular case, we have a zero tolerance policy that we train our educators on uh, around engaging uh, during a theft. Why? Because we put the safety of our team, of our guests front and center. McDonald's saying his company, like other big retail, is investing in ways to stop the billion dollar losses. Companies like Walmart, Target and Walgreens, all closing stores where shoplifting is running rampant and stores are underperforming. But when retailers stay open, they are adopting these zero tolerance policies designed to protect employees. Some of these employees, they, they know what's right and what's wrong and they, they feel, hey, this is wrong. And they think it's their, you know, almost their duty to step up and not let this kind of crap happen. However, from the employer's standpoint, is flat out they do not want this employee injured, God forbid, killed. That's what happened at this Big Lots store in California in April, where employees say theft happens four to five times a day. Two managers filming a man taking a cart full of Tide out to his car without paying. They were fired for going after the men, even though in the end, the thieves ran and the store regained their property. I said, here, ma'am, take it all, take it all. And I'm thinking, oh, great, I'm getting all my stuff back. In California, where this happened, an employer's insurance carrier can be held liable for workers' comp benefits. Big Lots hasn't responded to inquiries about their policy. If, like Lululemon, they do not want employees to take on personal risks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.